immigrants coming to this country. And I would also like to express our solidarity to the brothers and sisters. They are targeting innocent people. Do you think bin Laden is in that line? Do you think anyone who finds and calls on killing Americans is in that line? Of course not. These people are law-abiding citizens. That's why they're complying with the law. They believe in law and order. We believe in law and order. President Bush apparently does not, which is why he feels free to violate the Constitution. The government has almost complete discretion or a lot of discretion to do what they want with immigrants. Immigrants don't exactly have the same rights as all Americans. There's certain basic rights, yes. I feel like a real criminal because I, I've never had a handcuff, I mean, in my hands, even in my country, even in the United States. Uh, they checked in my file. I was clean. I didn't get even a ticket. So I don't know what, why they did, they, they did that. And we're going to see what's going to happen with my lawyer. Yes, that's it. These kinds of programs will not make us safer. The American Civil Liberties Union is interested in seeing that we are safe, but that we keep our freedoms in America. This is not the way America does things. Since September 11, hundreds of people have been detained and deported and shipped en masse, you know, back to their countries of origin. Well, how come the Department of Justice has not released a single name? They have been, they have been taken to court, but still, this, I mean, there is no transparency. The last registration group, we are still trying to fight for numbers to find out even how many people were, were registering and how many people were detained. And that's just for the Southern California area. Um, the Department of Justice refuses to tell us that, and in fact has come out and said nobody is in detention anymore, um, which is a lie. I have clients who are in detention still.